Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over a little function called the filter function, and this replaces uh, uh, quite a few others. Uh, it's a newer, newer function in Excel. Uh, we'll give you a list of items based on a criteria. So uh, a lot of flexibility to this, and there are uh, quite a few variations to it, but we're just going to go over the basics in this video. So uh, if you have, a, you have a table of data here, I've copied the header, the header row. Uh, over to this other area where we're going to have the data go uh, and what you do is you just copy your uh, you copy your table actually that's not true uh, we're going to go to this this uh, where you want the, the data to start we're going to go here we're going to hit equals filter and then the array which is the table of data the, the entire table of data so we're going to go here comma and then we're going to include and this is this is a criteria statement. So this is more of a, this is a statement. So there you would have um, in the case of this, we want to say we want to go. We're going to highlight this column because that is the column where our rep is, and that's what we want to filter the data by. In this case, so the the column that you want to filter is the column that uh, you would select, and it's going to be equal to what we have in this column in this cell right here so the rep is going to equal gc in this case now you can also this next argument is not is not uh required but if let's say you went through and, and i'll show you i'll show you it works but if let's say you go through and you don't have a um let's say you go through and you enter something in there that's not there then you would get an error message in this case it will override that and so you'd say if it's empty in quotes we want to say not found close the parentheses hit enter so it spills out into this area here and so we have all these that are only by gc and so you look here and you look down here and those are those are those so we could change it now if we were to change it to something that's not in there like b b b not found so there's that error and that's where that comes up b b b and we we'll go fi and there's that. Uh, and one other thing, if we go back here and we say GC, if you were to have something in here and we go back and we did FI again, then it'll give you an error message, meaning that it couldn't spill into this into this area because there's an there's something in there. So you delete that and boom there it works. So that's one of the things you want to make sure. But uh, Neat little function helps out quite a bit. You can change the variables. You can do, like I said, it's it's pretty versatile, and we'll try to try to expand on it in, in later videos. So, uh, hit a thumbs up if you like the video. If you would like to uh, see more, um, and don't miss an episode by hitting the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.